What is going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be announcing a new series that I'm doing on the AWS Well-Architected Framework. This is something that I recently stumbled upon and it's basically the set of standards that AWS applies on itself in order to build its large-scale, efficient, uh, low-latency, resilient systems. And they've documented all of this stuff into this around 200-page white paper that you can go and read. And uh, it's really a gold mine of information. So what I'm gonna do in this new series is share with you some of the main topics, the main ideas that exist and explain it to you in a kind of easy to relate way. And if you're wondering whether or not it's actually worth it to know about these things, I just had a good friend of mine that had an interview at a large company and he used the five pillars of the well-architected framework to frame the answers to the questions in the system design round. Uh, so if you're interested in system design interview or just looking to learn how to build systems better, then knowing about this framework is gonna be for you. Uh, so before I get into the course, what I wanna do is just give you a quick preview of the five pillars that consist of this framework and just highlight some of the topics that I'm going to be covering uh, in this mini series that's going to be coming out in the next weeks and months. So the first pillar of the five pillars is the operational excellence pillar, sometimes called OE. And the way I like to think about this pillar is just how do you run big systems? It consists of topics like automation, uh, how to safely execute deployments, how to anticipate failures in your systems, and how to learn from mistakes so the same things don't happen again. Uh, the second one is all about security. So the need to build a strong identity foundation, the need to have auditing and logging of access to your resources, having high encryption standards, and finally applying data classification standards. And I like to think of the security pillar as how to protect systems. The third one is about performance efficiency, and it's essentially how to get the most bang for your buck. Uh, so it talks a lot about using cloud services, using serverless models and monitoring your systems. Next is about cost optimization, which is essentially how to lower your bill. Uh, so it talks about consumption models, um, how to measure efficiency and how to attribute expenditure. And the final one is about reliability, which is basically how to make your systems resilient, highly available so that even in the case of hardware failure, they'll always continue running. And in this category, we talk a lot about redundancy, uh, things like change management, how to handle failures, and some common failure modes that you should be aware of. So this is what the series is going to be about. If you're interested in any of these topics, then stay tuned. I'm going to have videos coming out on all five of the different pillars of the AWS Well-Architected Framework in the next few weeks and months. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon.